Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. I am Komal Kamal Shikhavat and in this video, I am going to discuss how to run or how to check multi collinearity in Stata. Okay, so let's start with it. See, amongst many ways to check multi collinearity, in this video, I will be discussing very two basic ways to check multi collinearity. So, for that, first you need to import your data file. So, go to File, Import, then Excel spreadsheet if your data is in Excel format, and then browse your file. After selecting your file, you need to open the file and if you have mentioned the name of the variables in the very first column, then you need to check this box which mentions import first row as variable names. Okay. Then click OK. Alright. So as you can see, in the left side, all the variables have been listed over here under the variable list. And okay, so the first way is the command for checking multi collinearity is PW CORR. So PW correlation. Then take your dependent variable, then all your independent variables which you are taking into consideration okay and press enter so as you can see stata has shown the results for multi collinearity by using this command you can see over here the values for multi collinearity between two variables okay so by having a glance at the values of multi collinearity, you can figure out whether there is a high multi collinearity between two variables or not, or whether there is a low multi collinearity. Alright, so this is one of the ways. So, as you can see, multi collinearity between GDP and FP variable is minus 0.35, between LE variable and FP is minus 0.17. Similarly, the multi collinearity between suppose variable FR and LR is minus 0.54. So, in this way, you can check the multi collinearity between the variables. Another way is to find out the variance inflation factor. Okay. So, to find out VIF, first you need to run the regression model. So, for that, regress your model so first select your dependent variable followed by all the independent variables okay once you have selected all your variables as you can see you need to write in the command section regress then your dependent variable and then all your independent variables okay then click enter. So these are the results for simple regression. Okay. But you need to check for the variance inflation factor. So once you have run the regression to find out the VIF of the variables, you need to write VIF and press enter. Okay. So these are the results for variance inflation factor as you can see. Okay, so the thumb rule is a VIF value greater than 10 indicates high multi collinearity or presence of multi collinearity in your regression model. Okay, and for all the variables that were taken into consideration in my data set, all these variables have a VIF value less than 10. Okay, so this indicates that there is not a presence of multi collinearity in this particular regression model. So, similarly, you can also check for multi collinearity for your regression model by selecting your dependent and independent variables. 
Okay, so these are the two basic ways to check multi collinearity in Stata. Moreover, if you want to learn in detail what is multi collinearity, why multi collinearity is a problem at all, how to detect multi collinearity, and how to remove the multi collinearity from the regression model. So for that, you can refer to my video on how to check multicollinearity and run multicollinearity test in eViews. I'm also attaching the link of this video in the description box. So do watch that video also once you have watched this one. So I hope you like this short video on how to run multicollinearity in Stata. Do watch, like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.